Hello, York students and families. Today, we welcome back seven alumni to share their journey since graduation as part of our annual York Alumni Panel event. Beginning the next chapter of their lives at the start of the pandemic and amidst the change in college landscape, these former Falcons got creative and remained resilient as they each found their respective paths. Across the group, we saw many different answers to the question, what do I do after high school? Some immediately enrolled in four-year schools, while others took gap years, worked with local theater companies, and completed internships with organizations driven by causes they are passionate about. At college, these students have joined and founded clubs, participated in sports, worked on campus, played in bands, sang in choirs, planned semesters abroad, and tutored their peers. Some also ultimately transferred to other colleges, which better met their needs. One thing is abundantly clear from the different routes these brilliant young adults charted. There is no one-size-fits-all plan or approach to success and happiness after high school. York's college application approach is about more than an assortment of high-stress deadlines, tests, and essays. As our Director of College Counseling, Dean Partlow, says, it is a journey of self-discovery. It is a rite of passage, and students complete personality and career assessments, as well as a values reflection to explore their most authentic passions and ambitions. In a 2022 Forbes article, Beth Anderson, college and career counselor for the Mellow Valley High School District in Winthrop, Washington stated, many high schools like to promote the fact that 100 or 95% are college bound. A statistic she argues is not necessarily indicative of success because it is more about sending students off to the next institution than working with them on finding the best situation for their unique dreams, goals, and talents. Our first priority is to help students create a blueprint, a personal pathway for their college application process based on their interests and achievements. We hope that this pathway is a pathway of strategic self-inquiry for York students. Adding to the uncertainty of the college process is the fact that the admissions process has changed dramatically. In response to the pandemic, as well as educational research, many colleges have made standardized testing optional or some, like the University of California and Cal State University campuses, no longer consider test scores at all. Changing application policies like these have contributed to fluctuations in acceptance rates and admissions numbers. According to the Atlantic's Jeffrey Salingo, over the last 20 years, college application numbers have increased 150%, despite high school graduating classes remaining stable. The side effects of larger application numbers include colleges filling classes more heavily from early decision commitments and a statistical increase in selectivity. While this data may seem like cause for concern, in reality, the majority of colleges admit the majority of their applicants. In fact, 75% of schools utilize the common application except more than 50% of those who apply. The applicant pool may be growing, but a student can ultimately enroll in only one college. Therefore, a factor increasingly considered by admissions officers is prospective student engagement. Colleges want students who want to be there. In a sea of qualified applicants, a student who corresponds with them, inquires, and perhaps visits the campus can demonstrate how they would be an asset to their school of choice. This is all the more reason we hope York students will embrace the journey of introspection and carefully consider which schools or jobs, internships, and other opportunities are the best fit for them, regardless of a college's selectivity or notoriety. As UCLA's Director of Undergraduate Admission shares, exceptional colleges and universities come in all shapes, sizes, and admit rates. The right path is the one that is best for you, and it is a privilege for us to prepare our students for college and to assist in their discovery. Thank you for watching, and have a great week.